Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this quick sunburst transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. It is a pretty simple effect and it is something that makes your edits look a lot poppier. So let's get started. If you're interested in videos like this, by the way, go ahead and check the link in the description below for a course that I made that goes through how to learn Premiere by learning through tutorials like this. So first off, take your footage. I have two pieces of footage from Envato Elements, a subscription service for stock footage. You can see some beautiful shots here. You want to then import your bottom footage, so the one you're going to be starting with. You then go ahead and you import your second one right here. The aerial video is going to be mine. And so right now we just have the quick cut transition. What we want to do is we're going to now create ourselves a shape. So in this situation, I'm going to go to the shape tool over here, down to the ellipse tool. I'm going to draw a circle. Now, a quick note, if you hold shift, you'll draw a perfect circle. And so that's what we want to do. We want to start with a perfect circle here. We're going to take this circle and we're going to position it center. If you see that little crosshair right there, we're going to position the center into the top left of the shot. We want the fill and the stroke to both be white. We then go over to our effect controls while we still have the graphics layer selected. Find our shape. If you want to find it easier, you can, for example, name this the sunburst transition and it'll be over here. That is the shape. We then go down to the scale and we toggle that animation on. We'll start it off as a zero. Then we move forward roughly 10 frames. So I'm holding the shift key here to go five at a time. You can see 705, 710. And then we bring this scale up until it goes and it covers the entire screen. We now go into our effects and we look for an effect called track matte key. It's under video effects keying track matte key. We drag that onto the middle footage here. On the middle footage, we, have, we go to the track matte key. So we're selecting the middle. We're on effect controls, track matte key. The matte is going to be whatever we are, the, uh, the graphics that we want to use. So in this situation, it is V3. We click on this. We go matte, video three. And then now we take a look at what we've created. And you can see we have this transition. Now, something to make this transition a little cleaner, maybe a little, have a little more pump and like sort of pop to it is if we go into the scale and we bring open these, we right click on this and we want to ease this one in and right click on the left one and we want to ease it out. You can see that now it's sort of, if you go to the list of here again, I wish it would save your zoom, but it does not. You can see the velocity starts this is the velocity, how fast the transition is moving. So it starts slow and it goes fast and it sort of slows down just a little bit at the end right there. Like I said, it adds a little more flair. It makes it feel a little bit better. You can also experiment. For example, you could try to easy out this one, easy out them both. Now you sort of have this perfect parabola. Um, yeah, just sort of play around with them. You can also grab these. And for example, if you wanted to come in really, really fast, you can see it sort of goes really fast and those last couple of frames are held out for a second. That is also a fun way you can do it. But yeah, play around with these in here and you can make the transition your own and make it feel really, really good. That is how you do a sunburst transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to check out my course, check out the link in the description below. If you like to see my videos similar to this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I try to make content on all of the Adobe software, including uh, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, etc. Thanks everyone, and until next time, see ya.